We are back to talk 90 Day Fiancé, season 10 episode, I don't care, nor do I know the title of it. I just know that we are still in the process of working out all of these garbage can, Oscar the Grouch, (laughs) in the trash can relationships. I know. I feel like it's dragging on. And I don't even know if next week is going to be... It has to be the season finale because it's going to be it the is. 16th. Adam, I was hoping it would be. It's the 16th episode next I week. feel like it's not. I feel like we've got at least two uh. more episodes, which is fine because we're going to have fun. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see this thing through. There yeah. looks like there's going to be a hurricane. Yeah. Clayton and his little fucking fingers <laughs> on his little mouse just tap, tap, tapping on his game. Just oh wondering what God. Annalise's doing with that stripper in the sock, honey. That Listen. stripper in the sock. Oh, my Let's God. Let's just get to them. Let's just talk about them okay. first because okay. they're doing their bachelor and bachelor bachelorette parties yeah and Annalie gets one that's actually planned by brandy with a stripper and dick balloons and a bus <laughs> and alcohol tricked meanwhile, out nice meanwhile fucking clayton with his one friend what's his name again cameron ding dong they go swimming in the pool at the airbnb they rented and then play world of warcraft on the computer world of, i don't know it was like animal crossing it it's was something weird even it's not animal I'm crossing sorry. i know you play that all don't fucking <laughs> slander <laughs> animal crossing it was just super boring and yeah. at some point his friend is like um this is the <laughs> lamest bachelor party yeah. i've ever been to like what are we doing and the producers definitely intentionally like stole a shot of clayton's fucking little <laughs> pamper hands his toddler baby fingers on the mouse as he's playing little, the game i know it's like little kid hands thus validating what i've been saying all along little baby pee the inference is probably little baby pee pee little baby maybe he's it's fat <laughs> that's why Annalie wants a stripper i know she wants to see a real man's deal and she does mm. uh, she gets a fucking stripper on this fucking bus selfies can i just take oh, a close-up zoom in of your dick? cock so i can try to remember so it for my forever. future because i'm never gonna have this again <laughs> around this stripper i'm like this is like borderline like assault because he's like straight up like <laughs> flopping it's his dick not assault because she loved in it her face though she wanted it dude that would be assault for me i'd be like get that out of here <laughs> in his in her fucking face like that and he's I like can't. chewing gum he's i know super trashy i'm just <laughs> like, like oh, sunglasses and stuff indiana strippers i can't <laughs> Indiana. did you hear somebody call me out about yes. that like indiana's great i'm like i've never known it to be great no <laughs> offense but i am open to being surprised about it maybe we should go visit indiana <laughs> just never known it to be great ever <laughs> i've never been there so i can't confirm one way or the other and that stripper ain't convincing me either no honey. why couldn't you just go to chicago it's right there i know like just hop over but whatever and then at the end of their segment brandy has a little talky poo with Annalie while they're both drunk and they have to use google trans late to talk to each other and brandy's like telling Annalie, yeah i don't think clayton's ever gonna move out with the mom like wow. they're always gonna live together they've always lived together which i'm like big yikes and when brandy's outside just talking to the camera herself it looks like she's actually emotional about it yeah she's like yeah they've got a thing they've kind of always been enmeshed and together like Ooh. this and i feel really bad and sad for Clayton. Yeah. And it sounds like when Clayton tries to consciously uncouple with his mom, she's going to have a really fucking hard time doing so and yes. make it really bad for her and him and Anna Lee. And so I think Brandy's trying to give her a heads up. Yeah. Like she ain't ever going to leave, honey. Ever. And so Anna Lee's just like, well, if that's the case, we're going to have to divorce. I'm like, how about if that's the case, don't, don't marry Pamper Fingers. <laughs> like, just go back to Peru. Come on. Good Lord. Find but yourself she's... a Peruvian man. Eat some Peruvian chicken. Girl. With some alpacas. But she's going to marry Clayton and his baby hands. Because she lets him touch her with those baby hands. God. I can't imagine. <laughs> and so obviously, too, like the elephant in the room is mommy. And also the fact that Clayton said... No strippers. Mm -hmm. No other men. No other penises. And yet she does. And she's taking fucking selfies with the guy. She's going out of her way to wantonly interact with the penis in the room. (laughs) And Clayton's going to find out about it. Oh, he's going to be a little baby mad. He's going to be stamping his little (laughs) taller feet. (laughs) Mommy, we don't like you come out of the closet and talk to Annalie (laughs) in English, please? Oh, God. I can't wait to see that fight. Yeah. 
Next, we have Rob and Sophie, who are kind of a nothing burger this right. episode because they're still fighting over the same shit that yeah. they've been fighting over for the last three episodes which was that rob doesn't like uh sophie's mom claire and sophie's mom doesn't like him because he's a loser and nobody likes him who doesn't have a job and he doesn't even live in like a full functioning house so sophie and mom are going like wedding dress shopping which i'm like for what a wedding that's not gonna happen right but i mean every little girl wants a wedding dress i, I never did yes no i don't care either my first wedding <laughs> first of 10 <laughs> i got married in a mumu oh my god well, i was from hawaii it was an actual mumu it's oh, not okay. like a mumu like you would buy at target oh, okay good with your white trash yeah. accessory uh, proclivities <laughs> yeah it's like an actual beautiful mumu thank Aww, you that's good um my second wedding i was super fucking pregnant with your wife uh -huh, out I of was, wedlock you little hoe how dare you out me so fat and oh everything i wore god. this like eggplant sort of <laughs> Stop. Tent. Um, <laughs> and then my third and final uh -huh. marriage to my husband. Mm -hmm. I wore cowboy boots. I was in Colorado. I wore cowboy boots. I wore this like Stevie Nicks fucking royal blue. That's awesome. Blouse with like some jean shorts. I'm like, yes. Yes. And your daughter was there. And it yep. was just you guys. Yes. I've never worn a wedding dress in my life. Honestly, that's for the best probably. Yeah. I don't get this whole wedding culture. Me neither. Personally. Like, I'm going to have five bridesmaids and we're going to have a reception and we're going to go on a honeymoon. It's going to be a Ugh. destination wedding it's and everybody's going to wear this color. God. Too no. much. No. Use that money for your down payment on a house or something. Dumb for bitch. real. And no judgment because I know some of y'all are going to come in the comments. You're yeah. going to be like, I had a big wedding. I loved it. That's I, great. I apologize. We're happy for you. For saying dumb bitch. It's fine. We're not trashing everybody's no, weddings. No. We're just saying for us for personally. Us. For, we're very judgmental. We don't get it. I'm sorry. And it, go cry harder. <laughs> And then um, the other thing that happened with Rob and Sophie was that oh, Sophie comes out as bisexual. Okay, as the gay person in the room, um, what did you think of this very profound Dude, piece of television? I'm literally like Claire. I'm like, who cares? I loved that <laughs> response. Who cares? That's the right response. I mean. That doesn't make you, I mean, to me. Okay, Gen X. Yeah. I'm like that. Okay, like, that's great. It's not going to change anything no, about how I feel I about you. I still love you. you. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Make you less or more in anybody's eyes. Mm -hmm. You're still beautiful, perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, go eat a box, honey. Nobody cares. No, yeah, that's right. And that's exactly what Claire tells her. She's like, "Have you ever been with a woman before?" And Sophie's like, "Well, no." And she's like, "Okay, then go eat a box. Like, right. break up with Rob and date some women and figure out what you like before you get married to this mm -hmm. loser." And Sophie's like, yeah, maybe you're right. No, so she's probably no, gonna break she's up. like, uh, uh. She's like, uh, no, I have always known that I wanted to marry a man. Whatever. And I mean, I, I, I'm interested and curious about eating boxes and stuff, but I want to be married to a man. And that kind of brings up an interesting topic that I wanted to address okay. with you, which is the difference between sexual orientation and monogamy and po polyamory just because you're a homosexual or sure. a bisexual doesn't mean you're non-monogamous oh for sure yeah so she can be bisexual but yeah. also very intensely monogamous with rob yeah totally that can exist right so but i thought it was interesting that claire kind of used the same argument that rob did which was okay so marry him then and then cheat on him by eating other boxes <laughs> and then fucking get divorced i mean I'm like well she can be monogamous and bisexual true. claire yeah but then like why come out you know what i mean like unless you're wanting to experiment they want you to know my identity okay and why to great. see me i feel invisible congratulations <laughs> Like, what do you want? You so, <laughs> I'm you sorry so, that I'm a bitter lesbian, but I'm just right. like, you know. It doesn't First of all, 99% of women are bisexual. Yeah, I'm just going to say mean, it as the straight woman in the room. I've kissed women. Yes. I'll you've never eaten a box. More. No, I've never done it. I, I don't think I, you wouldn't. I, I, you don't think I wouldn't? I don't think you would. I'm sorry. Eat You're a wrong. box. You would actually I eat would a box? Have. Yes. Really? Yes, I had the op. Well, I didn't have the opportunity. I was willing in a moment, <laughs> but it wasn't going to work <laughs> in a out. In, no, in a moment, in, in an encounter that I had, bitch, don't diminish my <laughs> fucking bisexuality. I'm not. 
<laughs> but I mean, I would have probably. I don't know if I'd probably. Liked it. You, you would have been a, pr- a pillow princess. For you don't even sure. know me. I don't feel like we have met each I other. I know you. I feel like you are Georgia B. You are dick crazy. I know crazy. in the moment, honey, I was like, I'm eating a box. You are dick crazy. Well, I mean, that's fair. Women are sexy. They they are sexy. And I just feel like a lot of us, um, we are fluid in that way. Yes. So it's not groundbreaking fucking right. television. We don't all need to know that you are like every 99% of us. <laughs> just be you. and. All that that entails. Exactly. Your mom's like, who cares? She don't care. The bigger question is, why are you marrying this powder puff girl, Rob? <laughs> powder puff girl. God. He really is. In this little fucking ponytail. Yeah. I can't. But I just feel like this whole thing is like a catalyst for her to break up with his ass, though. For sure. One can only dream. I hope. Next, we get to Nikki and Justin Igor. Um. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like wow so they're getting ready for an engagement party and of course nikki is taking seven hours to get ready for it honey with her eight pounds of makeup where she's got her curler Uh uh-huh and as a phallus Uh well she doesn't see it that way yeah and igor comes by and says oh by the way i can see how you were born uh, out of your mother's body i can see you're a man I'm just like, you're so, you're transphobic as fuck. Uh, yeah. I know you're in Moldova, yeah. but it's on my American television and uh-huh. I'm cringing deeply. Yes. But Nikki laughs. Yeah, she does. So maybe that's okay and normative in their relationship. Maybe it's but a I'm joke. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a joke to deal with how she broke up with him and how she broke the news to him. Right. Well, he's you know, traumatized. 1,000%. Yeah. But then they get to the engagement party and this is where the juicy part of it is because at some point, someone asks right. Nikki to go sing her new song that she produced. Uh, I can't remember the name okay. of it because it's really bad. And she's like, oh my God, I don't want to sing. I'm not I'm prepared. I'm not ready. Oh, here's my mic though. <laughs> it's not like really great uh, great audio here, great quality. But that's okay. The whole thing's already it's been okay. set up. I just have to plug in to my aux or whatever on my phone. And then I've got this microphone right here. And she's singing. And I'm like, Nikki, I need you to stop. It's I really, really am cringing so deep into my body. Yep. that the cringe becomes a kegel, <laughs> which we call a craggle. A craggle. I'm craggling yes. watching you saunter around this room in a very beautiful dress it was gorgeous with all the crystals and shinies with moldovans pretending you're great yep and you think you are doing something honey in your talking head she's like oh my god igor was just magnetized (laughs) to me (laughs) yeah he was overwhelmed Uh by my song and we Mm. see ivan the eternal misogynist (laughs) who told igor to beat her (laughs) just dancing pretty much i know they're all forced to and they're like this is fucking terrible really and i feel bad because why well the reason i feel bad is because first of all i can see the layers here nikki exotica does not accept herself (sighs) nikki exotica wants to be accepted on the world stage nikki exotica wants to be a pop star and loved by a beautiful moldovan man and so this is the story that she's telling herself, but this is not an accurate real story of how her life is. That no. song is fucking terrible, it's Nikki. Horrible. You're never gonna be a rock star. No, get therapy. For real. I'm I'm like, she's singing this shit and she's like, oh my god, I was so out of tune, but like it was fun and like everyone loved it. But like I was totally not prepared to sing it. Uh Okay. Secondhand embarrassment Dude, of a lifetime. Chasing so well, I don't know hard. because in her interstitial, in her talking head, she seemed to be self aware. She's like, Yeah, I was mm. pitchy. Like, yeah, I wasn't perfect, but mm. like, they loved it. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. No, they didn't. I Nobody feel so loved bad that. for you. I don't feel bad. I'm like, You're love pit- yourself. Uh, for real, though. Accept yourself. Love yourself. That's an old YouTube video. Oh, God. I'll okay. show it to you later. All right. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we get to Manuel and Ashley, who are uh, in Florida. And I'm snoring. Yep. They're hella boring. Like, they have a bachelor and bachelorette party that's joint. They're party getting boat. drunk. They're going on a party boat. Um, the All of Ashley's friends came except Solly, who is Alicia's uh, partner or whatever. And he's like, um, I don't like this marriage. I think this guy sucks. So I'm not going to show up and just be negative. So peace out. And that's fair. And I respect that. Yeah, me too. But Ashley's like, um, is there tension? Like, <laughs> she's talking to Alicia. And I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care about them 
at all just no. get to the hurricane Absolutely. wedding please <laughs> that's all i care about and then last we get to he cries over his babies you're just gonna skip over that oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the first time yeah. <laughs> we see manuel have any actual emotion besides and like, anger and care. lust and um, I don't care. And you don't want to care at all like he's sitting in the boat and it's a beautiful moment and you can culturally contextualize this like this is like so fucking awesome for yeah. him like he doesn't have opportunities like this totally. and he just wants to share it with his children which yeah. for me was the first time that I saw any humanity in Manuel which yeah. makes me like him a little more yeah he does yeah. have a soft side to him a little bit I, I guess I guess he was crying Beatrice well, and, and you're just glossing over that <laughs> i totally forgot about yeah. that part actually <laughs> because i was snoring yeah. through that part but it was sweet because ashley's consoling him yeah and, you know they seem like they have some love for each other Something. besides love for their loins right they are not gonna make it no they are all. he's gonna leave as soon as he's got 100%. all of his shit his ducks in he's a row green he's like, card yeah i'm out of here lady you Peace. are team too out. much yes dot com <laughs> And then we get to Sam and Citra, which I sent you an article today <gasps> that just got posted on IG. Sam, Sam, who recently converted to Islam. Everybody stop what you're doing. Okay, let me just set this up for you. Like if you're like doing your dishes, if yeah. you're running on your treadmill, that's Pay attention. cool. But like um, we need our thinking caps on. We need our ears out for this one, please. <laughs> Sam, who recently converted to Islam which is a very modest religion. I mean, to say the least. To say the least. Now has an OnlyFans. And I mean, it's like $16 a month, which I'm like, that's a lot. <laughs> it is <laughs> a lot. That's selling yourself uh, quite the high number there. But whatever. And it doesn't look like anything like sexually suggestive. Yet. Yet. It does say um 18 or 18 and above or like nobody 18 and below which would suggest that, that we're gonna have some adult content but i'm like why well but two weeks ago we all especially if you're on patreon now mm -hmm. we all saw rob's booty hole and everything because yeah. <laughs> yeah. he had only fans back in the day and he was spreading them cheeks Woo. wide i'm wondering if sam's gonna do that I uh, Sam's Dude. gonna do that. Sam is, a cheeks. Sam is a Sam is a hundred percent gonna do Stop. some sexual motherfucking stuff on OnlyFans with Citra. He, mm, they have a cameo together, so I'm like, that's just one step. It's like um, the gateway drug. If he defiles her in Dude. this way, I will be really upset about that. I There's no way Citra would do that. There's no. no. I, but. I can't even imagine a world where Citra would be okay with her husband doing that. I know. And he just released it. And I went on his IG, which we have more followers than <laughs> him on IG currently, which is pretty Rock funny. Stars. I mean, we're famous. By the way, we need you to sign up though, because yeah. we're almost Go follow us. 5K, though, right. please. We still need to beat Sam. Mm -hmm. um, but he's got it in his link in his bio. He's got a link tree. Yes. And that link tree has his OnlyFans. Yeah. And I'm just, I don't know what's happening here. $16 a month. Right. And so if I'm paying you $16 a month, and by the way, I might have to do that. I've uh, never had an OnlyFans account. Me neither. But I might have to do that for just this. To see. I mean, I'm monocle. Yeah. Raccoon monocle. Yeah. We're in the dumpster looking at shit. Yeah. I want to see what he puts out. Me um, too. But I do know that he has this like huge disclaimer. Uh -huh. He's like, any content is copyrighted. And you can't share any pictures, videos, nothing. Yeah. Which, by the way, even if it's copyrighted, you can share it. But I mean, I'm not going to get into the legality of that. Nor am I going to do that. I'm going to respect that, Rob. Yeah. But I will fucking report back to the raccoons. Yes. Because he's spreading cheeks. He's I guarantee. Gotta be. And I kind of am curious, I, as a lesbian, I'm kind of curious about what his dick looks like. Oh, my God. When I tell you, I will share those screenshots with you. Please. Honey. I will share. Sign up. Yeah. Good. I think I should. I think it's, isn't Do that it. like a tax? Um, a yeah, business it's a expense? business expense. <laughs> my, only it fun, my only fucking fans account for Sam yeah. for 90 Day Fiance. Yes, bitch. Yeah. I'll buy that. Yeah. Well, like, let's just say for context here, Nikki has an OnlyFans as well, and it's also $16 a month. But, like, she's okay. posting, like, a lot of shit. Like, she's, she's posting videos. She's porny stuff, right? Porny stuff. Yeah. And, like, she's Nikki Exotica, so that's, like, a brand that sure. she built up. So I'm just, like... But Sam's Sam. just coming out of the gate. $16. Walking like, like a marionette dude. with his dick out <laughs> on OnlyFans. No jaw. I can't. 
I just I can't. I don't know what's happening. It is surreal to me, and I'm here for. And this dude's such a loser. So in this episode, he's going to a pawn shop to get a ring for Citra with his drunk mom because he can't afford anything. <laughs> with her hair extension. With her hair extension. God bless. I, I mean, mean I, not not everybody can have like the kind of hair that we, that we have. Do. But I'm just, she's a mess, this oh, woman. And she's totally unwilling mess. to go to Sam's conversion to mm-hmm. Islam because she's fundamentally a racist xenophobe yeah. or something. I don't know. That's rude. I shouldn't say that. But it's true. I suspect. It. Yeah, I do true. deeply suspect it. But she can't overcome the fact that he's not a Christian. No. And um, I would conscientiously object to his conversion uh, ceremony because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And yes. within four months, he's going to be on OnlyFans. So this is a, a laughing stock, actually. Right. Yeah. And you're a piece of shit, Sam totally a piece of shit and you're still doing drugs allegedly yeah. so i mean you suck and then sam takes uh citra and the family to like a nice farmhouse that they rented where they're gonna have their wedding and it's pretty sure i mean i like it and herman citra's dad is like oh my god this place is beautiful it's huge this is like for rich people in indonesia are you gonna live here <laughs> instead of the uh <laughs> humble abode that the you're hovel. in <laughs> with your the shanty dad. shack Ooh. yeah and uh, Sam's like, absolutely not. No, I can't. Don't get it. any fancy ideas in that head of yours. Even Citra. though Sam's got two jobs, and like, how can you not? But yeah, whatever. But like, I'm not gonna judge. I guess. Okay. Well, you know, he's got three. Yeah. Only yeah. Fans. Only fans. <laughs> Showing his booty oh for the drugs, probably. And then um, I think Citra tells her dad, Herman, about Sam's prior drug use because this is another thing that they did not disclose to her father. Right. And he's like, why are you marrying him? And but she's it's like, also total bullshit, though. She's like, yeah, it was... Her when he was a teenager. Teenager, he got addicted because somebody else's drug Gave him his pills, like, yeah. Something super dumb. Uh-huh, and so a lie. If Herman's a cop, which he is, mm-hmm. he's going to be sniffing that out. And he asks her the right question, like, if I tell you not to do this, will you listen to me? And she's like, no. No. He's like, okay. I don't get it. I personally then don't get it. Then what am I doing that? And she, on her Instagram, like, she's posting such wholesome, like, content of her and Sam just in love and, like, very modest and sweet. And she seems happy. I don't get it with Sam. But he's sitting there (laughs) laying it low and spreading it wide on OnlyFans. (laughs) I just can't. I think he's about to. I can not. Wow. And then that's how the episode ends. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. It was pretty... You know, whatever. Yeah. And the preview, Manuel, Manuel and Ashley finally get married in a tropical storm. I'm excited <laughs> to see that. Um, Jasmine is getting a wedding dress, but Gino's family is being assholes to her again. Performatively manufactured, produced, bad. Yep. And then we see Sam's like full conversion, like official conversion to the Islam. The beginning of, because they ask herman whether he consents to them being together and we have to wait to hear herman say ultimately yeah I yes consent. because i love my daughter nothing burger yep and then rob and sophie are fighting again they're probably gonna break up i hope um annalee tells clayton about the stripper and he's he super pissed little toddler baby tantrum he's very mad he's like um this is never gonna happen in our relationship ever ever again ever <laughs> And then Annalie cries and packs up her bags and she's like, fine. She's not going anywhere Yeah, because no. she has an ulterior motive because there's no reason in the world that you would live with this half of a man <laughs> of with a his man. baby fingers and his mama in a closet. Oh my God. Because you love him. Okay. Let's get real. Be so for real, Annalie. I mean, maybe she's doing the thing that Jasmine's doing. Okay. She hitches herself to some mediocre white man and she loves him. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll see how that goes on we'll happily see. ever after. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Clout goblins. Oh my gosh, this episode was long. I yeah. hope that's okay for everybody because they were just it. screaming the entire time <laughs> about everything. But I had a lot of fun. Me too. I'm so glad we were diving into Vanderpump Rules. Bitch. And of course, continuing on with 90 Day Fiance. I'm loving VPR. Good. I'm Obsessed. so happy nobody but you in my life plus the raccoons yeah but nobody but you watch well california jen yeah nobody but you well and brian 
and your daughter I, and my daughter <laughs> not a lot of people like like the shows that i like yeah. and like can get into the levels the vibe the consciousness tears of the yeah. cast members the astrological signs uh-huh. and the placements and positions like you yeah so i'm happy to be doing it with you me too i have a I lot of you fun so i love you too I love I love my baby. we will be back next week of course mm-hmm. to talk about sister wives we're doing a rewind season season four um if you're not watching you should we're yeah. gonna be covering i think episode three and four next uh-huh. week we're gonna do so watch so you know what we're talking about when we come back but until then is there anything else that we need to say to these beautiful raccoons well if you love our podcast i sure hope you subscribe on youtube leave us a like on some videos and then go to your favorite podcast platform and leave us a glowing five star review Bye. thank you so much we love you and until next time never forget that we've got nothing but love for you and Peace out. Bye. Bye.